that much. But um, what you think about Kanye West? Um, I I've said uh, before that he was seeking attention, but as I start looking into his rhetoric, uh, the things he's been screaming and saying. He's really a voice for the people. He he speak and say the things that a lot of people are scared to say. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, unfortunately, you know, a lot of people turn their back on the man, going off on him. But uh, you know, when he spoke about the Jews, that's in the Quran. A lot of the other speaks about them. You know, so when I start really, because like I said, I don't uh, look at a lot of people's social media stuff. A lot of that stuff I don't pay attention to because I be doing my own thing. And I don't be trying to get caught up in the he say, she say stuff. But I learned as a YouTuber that I got to start knowing what's going on, what they doing, and mm-hmm. looking into certain stuff. So like when we had these conversations, I can speak out, speak on it instead of speaking out of ignorance. So um, the man just, you know, he spoke his mind. He spoke what he knew. Because, you know, what well, we got to, well, me first, because my ears are the closest. What we had to learn before we just jump out there and speak about people, we got to understand that. This man been in the industry for years. He been around some of the biggest of the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, people in the industry, money, you know, billionaires, whatever. He, you know what I'm saying? So he know what's really going on. We don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We not in that circle. Right. You know what I'm saying? This man have been all around the world. You know, he didn't sit down with some of them big people doing these endorsement deals and all. We don't know who owning who behind a lot of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But he may do. And he might feel like he came to a point where he ready to speak out on it, you know. And first thing we do is bash uh, the person. Whereas when, when, when a white person come out and speak on something, we like, see, I knew it. Yeah, he telling the truth. And we'll go look into it or we'll just take his word for face value. And that's it. But when a black man speak out and say something, boy, we get all kind of. <sighs> man, yeah. it's the- how you think how you think people feel about a black man in general, like a black man like him being a billionaire with with the power? Like, do you think our people is behind us enough when we do get a person like Kanye that, that do got a platform where he could speak for the people, his mind and speak how the people feel, but they don't want to say it, but he'll come out and you know what I mean? Bro, listen. Us in general, black folks, do not stick together. That's number one. We we do the most hating. That's number two. And when a certain black man get in a certain position, the first thing the next black man think, I supposed to have that. I should have that. If I was right there, he in a way, man, he don't know how to do it. But you didn't think of that. You didn't know how to even go about doing it. But because you see the next man doing it, oh, I can speak better to him. Oh, I can do this. this. But why you didn't apply it? Why you didn't try to go do that? But now you see him doing it. Now you hate. And that's just the way it's just the way it is, man. It just look at the social media now. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got the crabs in the bucket. Everybody, and it's that slave mentality, that Winnie Lynch syndrome that they got. How he how they how they wrote that book, separate the light skin from the dark skin, separate this from this. And that's what we do, man. We always want to keep our foot on each other's neck. And nobody wanna help nobody out. But I don't want to help. It's, it's hard to get help in this industry, man, because a person always going to think, you're going to take my spot. Bro, think about this here. Yeah. Everybody that got YouTube channels, you got a YouTube channel, I got a YouTube channel, uh, uh, Charles White got a YouTube channel, uh, Camel got a YouTube channel, um, some of the biggest of the biggest got YouTube channels, right? Mm-hmm. And we all have our own fan base. All right. Like, my YouTube channel is built off my lifestyle, my life story, back in the day story. Right. When I try to implement new stuff, look at my numbers. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear, man, is this what it is? So now what I've learned, when you build your channel, that's the uh, the, 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 the views you you build. They looking for that kind of content. So when you try to spring something new, and they're like, oh, what, what is this? Now, I ain't coming for that. I can go so You know what I'm saying? So um, I said, I said this here. If we stop hate so much on one another and help. Okay, look, man, listen, come on, do something on my channel, do something on your channel. Come on, let's go. Because we all, bro, we all getting paid from Google, being monetized. So right. you don't hurt me, I'm not hurting you. You you got, like I said, you got a different fan base. Your fan base gonna check out, oh, boy, look, okay, he got such, 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 let me see what they're talking about. All right, come yeah. over here. 
You know what I'm saying? So we you, you can all help each other. It's not it's not like uh how they how they do that rap industry feel like okay, I'm plat, I don't want you to take my spot. I'm the best lyricist, I'm the best da -da -da -da. man. The YouTube game busts wide open, bro. Right. Wow. And there's billions of people oh. in the world. I mean, come on, man. But <laughs> You know, bro, that's why I just stay focused and do what I do, man, and I don't be worrying about all that other stuff, bro. Right. Yeah. You can um 